let you know the team's a dynasty. What you gon' be? A hustler, a customer. They buying, we selling, but everything legal, bro. Snoo too long, and it's hard for you to wake up. Never had an hour job, but I stack paper up. 20 years old, ain't too early for no credit, bro. 30 years old, ain't too late to get your credit up. What you gon' do if they issue you a pay cut? And all your money gone from your savings, you was stacking up. All we tryna say is, don't be him, home. Muscle up with Jim, not the gym with the wild home. Really take flight, not just get fly home. Get in the car to make a feel some type of way like rich home. What we tryna say is, you gotta make investment. Paper money won't last if you don't invest it. Something like credit suite, cleaning up your messes. Learn the equity and even how to do your taxes. If you can buy one house, you can flip two. If you can buy one car, then you can buy two. If you ever save a thousand dollars, you can save two. Stop working hard, let the money do the work for you. You can buy one house, you can flip two. If you can buy one car, then you can buy two. If you ever save a thousand dollars, you can turn it into two. Stop working hard, let the money do the work for you. What is going on? This is Mike Clark, Kill Procrastination. I have a very fire episode for you today. We're going to go over some of my top investment strategies in the real estate sector, man. This is something that um, I'm actually trying actively. Um, not all of these strategies I have fully done myself, but I have done enough research where I do feel confident that one, I can speak on it, and two, that I'm definitely going to implement it into what I do on a daily basis, um, you know, for my overall wealth in the future, right? Um, the first one, of course, is going to be rental properties. Rental properties is something very simple to buy, uh, something very simple to understand. Understand that you all you have to do is go on Realtor, Zillow, um, you can definitely find off-market deals, of course. Um, but you find a property, um, you go ahead and you close on that property, you take over that property, um, you make sure that it's up to code, up to standard, and you find the prospective tenants that you actually put into this property, right? They're going to pay you, of course, the rental income. You have to make sure, of course, you're paying your expenses like your mortgage, your taxes, your insurance, of course, and whatever the difference is, that is what you're going to make on the cash flow side. The cash flow side can be done and be made monthly that can actually pay you, right? While they're also paying down the mortgage. Now, some deals won't actually make enough money to actually make cash flow. So you may have to look on the equity side because, you know, just because the numbers don't work on the cash flow side doesn't mean that it still may not be a great investment. So what most people do, some people will do um, is work about the equity and understand that the equity piece where this property will um, grow over time and you will make your money back over time. But once again, <laughs> the big factor in it is time and you have to be patient on the equity side. All right. So the second uh, top you know, investment strategy that I utilize, of course, is wholesaling. Wholesaling is one of those strategies that I said that I, I have been learning. I've been researching. Um, I haven't actually been able to do it. However, I have called on numerous properties before, just haven't been able to lock in a deal just yet. Um, however, the, the whole idea with wholesaling is riding around, finding that bad house in the best neighborhood, trying to get that under contract, trying to uh, get in contact with the owners, so you can make a deal um, just with the owner itself if you can. And then, of course, finding an investor on the back end so you can make the difference. So, for example, if you can find a house and make a negotiation of 30 grand, but you know the house may be worth 100, you know, it just needs a little bit of fix up. All you have to do is find an investor willing to pay, you know, that 30 grand plus whatever your fee is going to be. And if I want to make it 20 grand, I can that leaves 50 grand on the back end for that investor. So that's just a simple number, simple numbers. Um, definitely can go more into it, but this video is just to get to the meat and potatoes, right? Um, the next thing, of course, is gonna be a live-in flip. Now, with this live-in flip, man, this is an easy and great way to get in the game. Um, I actually have done a live-in flip where I bought a property. It didn't need a lot of um, rehab, but it did need some, right? I went inside. Um, it definitely needed some paint, needed new light fixtures. 
Um, it definitely needed a new AC unit. You know, it needed some work. However, I knew I didn't have a big budget. So I knew that I would have to live in this property to make sure it can get done in a timely manner. And it took me about a year, some change to actually get it to where it needed to be. Um, now, backstory on that, I actually bought this property for 115000 and currently it's on the market for 180, and it's under contract. It took about two years for that to work. However, understand, man, this is a great opportunity for most investors, for most, um, you know, mom and pops, you know, for <laughs> for most individuals that you can actually get into this game. All right. So don't 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 think that oh I have a budget oh I don't have enough money. This is a this is a great uh, tip for you, right? Now, the next one, of course, is going to be up the bird strategy. I don't know if a lot of you guys have heard of the bird strategy, but it's another great tool in your belt. And all that acronym stands for is the buy, uh, rehab, refinance, repeat. Well, rent, refinance, repeat. Something like that. <laughs> all right. But the biggest thing about it is you can buy the property, put a down payment on investment property, right? Um, if it needs a little bit of work, you, of course, put the money into to, uh, putting that in there. But most people are like, well, that's all the money I have. How do I get my money back? Of course, as long as there's enough equity in the game, in that property, you're going to be able to refinance, do a cash out refinance and get your money back. You know, maybe not all of it, but you can get majority of it back and put a tenant in it. Now you're making cash flow. You got an equity play as well. This is a great investment strategy for anybody looking to get started. And the last one is, man, this is big. And I feel like whether you got a family or you're single, this is a strategy for you. And that's, of course, house hacking. House hacking is like powerful because um, you can actually control your living expenses. Now, you are going to have to give control of your space up. Now, if you live in an apartment, or you live in a, in a house that you're renting out, please, please, please make sure you your um, your lease has some sort of subleasing or you get with your property manager or wherever the property owner is and just ask, are you able to um, lease, sublease that space out? You know, an extra bedroom, whatever. All right, but for me particularly, I could talk about me because what I do personally, I actually went ahead and bought a duplex. I do have a family, so... One side of that duplex is being rented and the second half I live in. Now, that first half is actually paying the mortgage and it's a little bit left over for cash flow and I'm living for free. You guys got to understand how powerful that is because now I could take what I would have to pay for my household expenses and now I can utilize and save that up and pay myself and put into properties, which then in turn will make me more money. You guys have to understand that. And I want you guys to learn these techniques and put these tools in your belt. All right. This is very, very powerful. I just want to leave you guys with this. All right. You have to take control of yourself. You cannot count on the government. You cannot count on your friends or family. Understand this. There's a statistic out there right now that says, I believe it's 80% of Americans, 80 or 90% of Americans don't even have a thousand dollars for an emergency. This right here will give you that. Just using house hacking alone and, you know, bringing your household expenses down will allow you to save a thousand dollars within the next month or two. You know, just think about if you took any of these strategies and you times it by 10, times it by 20, times it by 30, what it can do for you and your family. Um, I'm going to bring you guys more content like this. If you really enjoy it, definitely comment, subscribe, hit the like button. I appreciate everything you guys are doing for me. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, definitely, definitely look out for more content like this. All right. I love you guys. Peace.